Hi everyone, it's Lisa Brown with InkandInspirations.com. I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! And in this video, we're going to be making this easy Valentine treat holder that I made. And it holds a Russell Stover caramel heart. And I am using the Heartfelt Bundle with these two great heart punches and this stamp set, and this is in the January to June 2020 mini catalog from Stampin' Up. So let's get started. I am going to use a piece of the From My Heart Specialty Designer Series paper and a scrap piece of Whisper cardstock for this. And so we're gonna start, and I've used this heart print, and you can see it has directionality. All the hearts are going one way. So I want this to be the front of my box, okay? And so I'm going to score that and get my Simply Scored scoring tool. And I'm gonna score that on the short side first. And I'm going to get my scoring tool here and we're going to score it at one half and three and a quarter. So let me go ahead and do this. One half and three and one quarter. So that gives us a one half inch tab on each side. So now I'm gonna turn it, put that long side at the top, and I am gonna score it at three and three quarters and four and a quarter, and that's it, okay? So, let's do some folding and burnishing with our bone folder, and look for those scoring lines, give it a good crease. And this designer paper, this specialty paper, is a little thicker than our regular designer series paper, so, You've got to really burnish it good to make a good fold and assembly of your box. Okay, so we've got that. Now we have a few snips to make with our paper snips. And so I'm just going to cut on these two little scores on the long side on both sides of the, the paper here. Okay. So now we know that this is the front of our box. So those tabs are just going to come in, okay? And then I'm going to pull and overlap these two side tabs like that where the front of the box tabs go over those back tabs, okay? And so that's where we know, how we know where to put the adhesive. Okay. I'm going to take this and just hold it a bit, and you want to try to match the tops here, the top edges, for a neat box. Hold that for a second, and then let's do this side. And then that's it. That's the assembly of this box. And you can see on the back, the hearts are upside down, which is okay. But, but that's why you want to use the front of your box with the hearts going right side up. Okay, so now I'm going to take some um, of our double stitched real red ribbon and I went ahead and pre-cut this at 16 inches and I'm thinking that's going to do me. And I wanted to tie a bow, so I'm just going to wrap that around the top and tie a bow. And I tell you what, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in there to give it some body and make it easier to tie the bow. I think the designer paper matches perfectly with the Russell Stover foil. <laughs> but you could use any candy or any gift, a small gift in here, um, earrings, um, just anything, gift card, cash, whatever you'd like to give. And it doesn't have to be just for Valentine's Day. It can be for any time. Just a little surprise thinking of you gift. How fun is that? All right, so 
I'm going to trim this off a bit with my paper snips that I say for using for ribbon. I have the ribbon tied around, so I know that's what it's for. And now we're going to do some really simple stamping. Whisper White Scrap, the Happy Valentine's Day Photopolymer Heart from that stamp set, and Real Red Ink. I'm going to ink this up and stamp it. image and then I'm going to take this smooth edged heart punch love that it comes with two nesting punches in this bundle snap Le leaves a pretty little white border on both sides and then I'm going to use one of our heart doilies and it comes in they come in red and flirty flamingo but I'm going to use the Whisper White side that goes against this designer paper. The white's gonna show up a little more and look very lacy. And then we're just gonna very simply add the stamped punched heart to the center. Okay, there you go. You can make these, it's so easy, and I hope you do and give it a try. If you need any supplies, let me know. Visit my website at inkandinspirations.com, and I'll see you all again soon. Take care, bye-bye.